gonna make some crooked places straight. And I believe he gonna make some rough places plain. I believe he gonna move somebody that's been a stumbling block. I believe, I believe he's gonna shake the foundation. You don't hear me, but there is a prophetic anointing on me right now. And I believe God. Oh, my God. I believe that he's going to come in this place, in this hour, and he's going to begin to shake out some yes, things. Yes. I believe that he's going to weed out. I believe that what's needing to be shaken is going to be shaken. And I believe what needs to be still will be still. Somebody lift up your hands and bless the living God. How many understand that the prophetic anointing is right here? Right now, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me to tell you just what I'm telling yes. you. Yes, speak Holy Ghost. I believe God. Speak Lord. I believe God. Speak God. You're going to have to take a deeper, a deeper uh, step in your faith. Come on, Holy Ghost. God has sent unto you this night, plunge in. Plunge in. There is a river of life flowing out of you. Yes. God is saying, plunge in. Plunge all the way in. He said, don't leave your hands uncovered. Don't leave your feet uncovered. Don't leave your head uncovered. He said, plunge in. He said that in this last hour, I would that you would put on the whole armor of God. That you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes, God. And the devil have been being trying to be real slick lately. Come on. But somebody lift up your hands and say, he cannot outdo God. He cannot outdo God. He cannot outdo God. God knows what he's up to. Yes. Oh, that's good information right there. Can you wave your hand and bless the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe we're going to be dealt. Amen. A particular measure besides what we have received. Amen. There's some more coming. Amen. God says, I want your faith to be, uh, I want your faith to be growing and growing. I need your faith to grow bigger. The bigger your faith goes, the bigger your blessing comes in. Oh, somebody ought to lift up your hands right there. Come on, lift up your hands right there. Lift up your hands and count it joy. The writer said, I count it joy. I count it all joy. Hallelujah. See, we fall into situations and we get weary. But God told us tonight through his word, we got to count it all as joy. Huh? I heard the songwriter says, I count everything as joy in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything is joy in the Lord. Mm. If you're sick, he's a doctor. Huh? I said, if you're sick, he's a doctor. That's joy. When you're in trouble, he's a lawyer. That's joy. No matter what the problem is, he can solve anything. Now, I want to stand in awe. Thank the Lord as I stand in awe. I understand that while I was in New Jersey, another accident happened. Amen. See, the one that happened Sunday with Tanya, God promised us some things. Amen. He said, I'm going to buy Thing. I'm gonna bypass, bypass was the big word he, he, he loosed in this atmosphere. And amen, I, I was there. I, I went to the scene of that accident and I saw people being taken away in stretchers. On stretchers, in ambulance. Amen. The, 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 the jaws of life had to pry one woman out of the van. Amen. The van, the wheels were gone. Oh, come on in here, somebody. The whole front end was gone. And amen, the, 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 the RV that ran into, into Tanya's or the, or the utility truck, whatever that thing was, it was really a head-on collisional situation. But God bypassed like he said he would do. He took Tanya and bypassed her. Oh, I need me some praises in this house. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. If he say he's going to do something. I don't know why we worry and fret. If God say he going to do it. It's already done. It's already done, though. I wasn't gone. Four days. Three days. One day. As a matter of fact, it was the same day. 
I left on a Thursday and you was in an accident on a Thursday. Kenneth. And once again, the word that was loosed in the atmosphere to bypass. Oh, the devil was trying to kill the saints. But I want you to lift up your hand. See, it's prayer time in the camp. It's time, amen, to pray like never before. It's time to take it to the altar. We have an altar. Somebody lift up your hand. Hallelujah. We've got to learn how to go to what we've got and grip the horns of the altar and pray without ceasing. I need me a praiser in this house. got a throne room. Yes. We have an altar. We have a throne room. We have a place of refuge. Yes, and the righteous can run to some yes. places. And the righteous ain't running to these places. Oh, we run into everywhere else. And we're not running to these places that we can run to. There's a lot of folks using the word bypass and bypassing God. They're bypassing the church. They're bypassing the anointing. They're bypassing the praises. Amen. They're bypassing. They're doing it wrong. Amen. But God said he was going to buy. Y'all don't hear me. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is a word tonight from my father's heart. Speaking expressly unto you, the faithful few who selected and chose to place your eye on the house of the Lord. Glory to God. See, I have something in me. I have something in me. Huh? And it's, it's his power. I'm full of it. I'm full of his power. I'm full of his power. Full of his glory. Come on. Huh? And I can't help myself. I've got to press my way in, evangelist. I've got to press my way to the house, Marlene. I've got to press my way. I've got, I, you know, I've got to move things out of the way. Do you understand that people shift things around when they want to do stuff? They start changing and, amen, fixing their schedule and, and, and shifting their agenda, amen, to do what it is that their little old heart desire. But when it comes down to the things of God, they don't have no room, hallelujah, no time to deal with that. You're preaching realism. Oh, but I have a glory burning on the inside tonight. And I'm excited about the hand of God. I said I'm excited about the hand of God. And I got news for you. I'm not getting ready to wait. I'm getting ready to come on with the word. Come on, baby, and bring the thing. Amen. I'm getting ready to come with the word of God and fully on the ones that's not here tonight. Amen. Because this is revival. This is revival. And God, give me that, give me that pen right back. Look, right back here. God told me to do something very special tonight. Come on, bring that. Hurry up, hurry up. Move quick. I need you to get in a hurry now when I tell you to move. Move in a hurry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Bring that here. This is for these that have come tonight. The Holy Spirit of God says, just pour the oil out. Oh my God. Somebody say glory to God. You say, what is this? These are prayer calls. Amen. Fresh anointed oil. Oh my God. Somebody tell God that. Amen. I believe somebody going to get healed. Oh my God. Praiser in here. I do weird things when God say do weird things. But oh my God, he said, pour the oil out. I need you to just begin to shout in this house. Come on. God said, this is a night to travail. Somebody's body gonna get healed. Somebody is gonna make something you're gonna understand in a little while. Oh, you say, what is this woman doing? Just what I saw in the spirit. I was sitting down reading the word of God. And God told me, he said, 